Hello everybody, it's Dave Neal, stand-up comic, host of Bachelor Nation News. In this video, we have Zach Shall Cross on the uh, A New Untold Story podcast discussing his time as The Bachelor. It's a real hilarious episode. I can't wait for you to listen to it. Uh, Zach talks about uh, why he freaked out and self-eliminated from Rachel Recchia's season. No, we don't have information about the fantasy suite or what might have gone down, uh, but I wish we did. Although he does give us some very specific information about what goes on there, some of the mistakes he made. I've always said this, some of the best Bachelor interviews are the ones done off of the show. You know, because these guys that run this podcast are really good at what they do. They're good at providing a very sort of like garage. They're basically like in a garage set, you know, where they're just guys hanging out, shooting it, and they can ask questions as sort of casual Bachelor listeners. Let's have a listen. Around. Uh, I was, I self-eliminated. Oh uh, yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. the best thing you could do. <laughs> Wait, mean, what? Yeah. He, yeah. It, it's, it's yeah. it, it, self-eliminated. It, it's, it's suicide. <laughs> is, is it because <laughs> like, you knew you were, is like, is it like resigning? Yeah, it's basically. You knew you were fucked or? Well, like what's next after that stage that, you know, I left, I was like, it's, it's either engagement or not. And can I see myself getting engaged right. with that person? I couldn't at that moment. I was like, there's no way it's us. Like I, you just know that feeling of, you know, if this is your person or not, uh, uh, not it, not it. I was okay. like, I got to get the hell out. Like Perfect. I was freaking out. And you, did you cry? I got to get the hell out again. Th there's no shade to Rachel here. It was his own freaking out. Maybe Rachel was going to dump him anyway. I mean, you know what I mean? The leads get to string people along that they're not going to keep. He knew he wasn't going to propose and he got out. More people should be like Zach and do that. Of course, it worked out for him in the end, but at the moment, everyone's like, oh, Zach wasn't here for the right reasons. No, he just wasn't into Rachel. Cry on camera? Oh, fuck ton of times. Uh, we're on camera every day. Have you cried on camera, Kyle? Have I cried on camera? No. We're I due. Well, have you dated on camera no like it done anything romantic All right, so when you date on camera you are going to cry on camera and there's several other great clips so i mean to be quite honest that's really i mean no there's a few other times he mentions his season but that's kind of like the juicy part about rachel where he's like i freaked out i had to go and i'm sure you know like that's probably how the fantasy suite went he got in his own head they made out maybe uh what it wasn't everything they wanted it to be and he's like nah, no 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 we're done here we're done here and where, you're from i'm from anaheim from, california and what type of adversity did you face growing up in northern the north side of ocean of orange <laughs> county <laughs> <laughs> you almost lost me there. Any? <laughs> what was like tough? <laughs> what, what was tough? I mean, it was um, shit. It was really uh... <laughs> man. Yeah, tough, it, it, crazy. You made it to this position in life. <laughs> crazy. You made it to this position in life. I mean, always nice to see we can have a laugh at, out of uh, a tall male good looking white man not really having much adversity hey that's fine he actually did mention that he was a bigger guy um i think very early on in the episode i don't even think we covered it here but he mentioned he was a uh, 300 pounds uh you know football player get right through it all right <laughs> all right texas would you uh, employ castle doctrine on one of the queens you left in the dust if she came crawling back to your property what the fuck does that what, what's, what's castle, castle doctrine stand, stand your ground like, oh would okay. you shoot her oh. in the face if she <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> he doesn't know what to do. Welcome Sorry. to the show, man. 11 in uh, rushing? Yeah, I think so. so I mean, we're a triple option. I mean, you yeah. run the ball 99% of the time. Buddy. So he's talking about how he played uh, college football. Yeah. And you were much larger. I was about 300 pounds. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. 298. Did you have to get the loose skin surgery? No, I didn't. Nice. You weren't fat. You were, you were you just had big. to beef up and you had to probably sustain a crazy diet, right? Well, yeah, I was pudgy. Oh, shit. There it is. Oh, that's not. Oh, that's not. No, that's, that's my just sister. Big. You're, you're. That's. We were. That's not a fat man by any means. I think I held it okay. Yeah. Uh, that that one's a little pain. There's like just pain in my eyes. In yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can't really I mean, even see the eyes. <laughs> yeah, the eyes are getting swallowed. Oh, and the forehead too. Jeez. Okay, so they go through his days of college football there, and I wanted to jump you guys up to the 20 minute mark and just share a couple other 
clips from this podcast. Again, this is why podcasting, I think, is so much better in person. When I talk about these stupid interviews, they're very transactional, the Bachelor Happy Hour interviews. They're so bad. This is like, they're, they're, they're having, the vibes here are just so much better. <laughs> oh, I might have to defer, but I okay. did, um, uh, what was it? On, on night one, I got a little criticized for having the most night one kisses what you yeah. stacked them yeah I, I the most out, out of any bachelor, any bachelor. how and many was it oh shit i think it was a l 11, 11 kisses 11? in one night oh yeah to ice up the lips dude oh yeah, my yeah, god my, my lips would be so fucking sore yeah my fiance roasts me about it all the time yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> 11? wait was she one of the kisses yes oh, okay okay oh my god oh, of course did you send home any of the girls that you kissed on the first night uh, yeah. Whoa. Was because it? one of the kisses, she forced the kiss on me. Whoa. And I, like twice. Whoa. And it was like very like, yo, no. She wanted me to gritty with her. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> so not only did I gritty on national TV. <laughs> oh, you did. You, you did obliged? it. You broke I mean, I'm like, it, I'm at the mansion. I'm having fun. I'm meeting all the ladies. She wants to gritty. I'm like, oh, sure. She seems fine, but like, whatever. Is everybody oh. pretty drunk? Oh, yeah. You're you like can... trying to get a triple double. Oh, too. no. They call it how to lose a guy in five minutes. And by the way, this is why I like podcasts that actually know how to produce their show. They have a producer who pulls it up just like I do. I was literally going to pull up the same clip, and then I saw they were pulling it up. I swear if this was on one of these Bachelor podcasts, they would talk about it, and then no one would share the funny clip. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, it, <laughs> oh it. no. This one's 20 seconds. Okay. okay. Let's see this one. Oh, God. Is this the most cringe gritty ever? He's <laughs> <laughs> And this is after she Brother. force kissed you? Stop, stop. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Oh, my God. I forgot how bad it was. Oh, Lord. Dude. <laughs> Damn, that's a rough, that's a rough cap uh, title, too. Yeah, is this the most cringe gritty ever? Well, that was, you bowed out. You're we talking about her. How did she her. ask you to do it? She's like, I'm from Minnesota. Uh, <laughs> oh, yep. Yeah, that's, <laughs> say no more. That's how you start it every uh, time. So then they go to the 24 minute mark here. Yeah, I mean, it's a party. They're having a blast here. Uh, three more clips to share with you guys. Right here. Got sent home. So your big, snaf your big snafu was the mold wine. I've heard I had, about a, this. I had a bigger snafu, but yeah. Oh, we'll yeah, yeah. Let's start, we'll start <laughs> yeah, with yeah. mold wine. We'll stick with mold. Mold wine sounds disgusting. You can use mold, what mold M U L L E D, which is just warm wine, <laughs> spiced wine, spiced wine spiced with wine. mold as in like. And his bigger snafu, snafu is probably the fantasy suite conversation where he, you know, told the wrong person. Yeah, you know, he he outed that he had sex with somebody. You know, all that like fungi. Yeah, but, but it sounds it's exact. So it's phonetically the same. The same. So what what happened on the show? Uh, you you tried it? to offer her mold wine. No, it wasn't just her. I was like, I was so, it was the first time I've ever had mold wine or mold wine. <laughs> and I was like, this shit's amazing. Like, oh, it's sweet wine. It's kind it's of fucking warm. mold, <laughs> but it's gross. It's like cheese, <laughs> like cheese is mold, right? Oh and I'm telling God. all the girls, it's like, I'm like some genius. It's like, did you know this is mold? Oh, <laughs> no. oh my God. And then I got like. Uh, Life to yeah, can you pull up the clip? It's it's you reveal. Uh, you found out like at the like a reunion, right? I found out in a or in at, an interview. Okay, like, after the fact, after I've been spewing to everyone. <laughs> Did you tell people off the show about mold wine? Oh, totally. I get shipped mold wine now. Oh hell yeah! Yeah. Oh no! Oh, oh, new no. Tech. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Bring it up, Scotty. There it is. Producer school Zach on mold wine. Mold. <laughs> <laughs> Which sounds really gross, um, but believe it or not, it's delicious. Okay, I heard you guys this conversation. You know it's not mold wine, right? It's mold, like M U L L E D. It's not mold wine. <laughs> I thought this entire time. <laughs> I mean, look, come on. They're, they're crushing it. All right, the 39 minute mark here. Uh, and again, if you want to check this out, it's called 11 Kisses featuring Zach Shell Cross 3920 right here for you guys. Let's look. Repeated. What was your, when you got out of the limo, what was your first, what, did, what, what was your thing that made the girl remember you? Oh, because um, that would be my biggest fear. I wouldn't make it past limo door. No, so. 
prior to that, you're in a hotel room for about a week, like quarantined from talking to family, friends, like it's to, you know, get you prepared for what you're about to go do. And you're just meeting with the producer about your limo entrance. And like, I, I've hardly watched the show. I didn't know what I wanted to do. And I was like, you know, what? like what a cool experience. Let's do something crazy. So I said like, what if we went like, like skydiving in or rode a bull through and they're like oh yeah yeah that's that's good that's good and so like we're running through all these different scenarios of what i could do and then it's the night of the event they haven't confirmed anything and they said you know what zach like you're just gonna be wholesome and i was like oh they told you how to act basically like none of the ideas that were coming up for you is gonna work and they actually i think had zero faith in me yeah no, but by saying Zach was going to be wholesome, that's their way of saying, we want you to go far in the season. You're not going to play all the gimmicks. You're actually, you're actually, you actually have a, a shot here. That's why when you watch the show at the limo entrances, usually the people that show up in like, I don't know, a cartoon ketchup costume or something are usually the ones that don't go as far. I mean, that's just how it works. All right, let's go to our final clip here, the 4730 mark. And again, you guys can go check out the full episode. Just wanted to give you a little recap of what went down here it is oh yeah that would be unreal yeah. uh we got offered to do kind of offered to do amazing race canada i can't do it because i'm not a canadian citizen they're wow. strict with it yeah. so right now we're shit out of luck but i would like to do that or the wall have you heard about that one Mm-mm. that's no. the one where you have a partner and i don't know i forget who hosts What's the it? wall is our computer crashed but has anyone has anyone ever known this that zach and katie were offered um Amazing Race Canada edition. I had no idea that would be fun to check out. I I'm not too sure if they mentioned the Gabby incident. Uh, will you guys let me know if anyone watched this? I didn't hear it, but it could have been a clip I missed. If so, that would be interesting to hear his thoughts on it. Look, Zach Zach seems like a pretty good guy. You know, he's um, you know, been unproblematic. He's just an average sort of bloke, and he's happily with Katie Baker. I mean, we, what we saw, though, is it just wasn't going to work out with Rachel, and I'm sure that was um, sort of sad for Rachel. Uh, you know, whenever you get, uh, you know, uh, rejected, that never feels good. But, uh, again, you know, wishing her the best. And Zach and Katie, I mean, they've got some of the best potential of any of the Bachelor couples that are still out there. They seem like they're in great shape. I mean, we never know what's going on behind the scenes here. But very happy for them. Hey, there's got to be something about these Canadians, Katie, uh, right, and Caitlin. And, you know, they, they do well on our TV show. So congrats to the Canadians out there with your, um, what is it, 13-point uh, maple leaf, whatever it is. All right, well... We'll be back. I'm going live on Patreon right now. Patreon.com slash Dave Neal. We'll see you over there. We'll be sharing some behind-the-scenes exclusive content. Be back right after this.